Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding all the matches of the leak and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy and this question has been asked in Microsoft interviews over the past couple of years. Okay, let's jump right in. We are given a table called teams with only one column, right? Team name. The data type being where care, right? Variable characters. Team name is the primary key of this table, okay? Each row of this table shows the name of a team. We are asked to write a SQL query that reports all the possible matches of the league, right? Note that every two teams play two matches with each other, with the one team being the home team once and the other time being the away team, right? The order of the result does not matter, right? Let's go through this example, right? So here, if you see, there are three different teams, right? So it is going to play. So each team is going to play two matches, right? With other one. In one of those matches, this team is going to be home team. And in the other match, it is going to be a wage team. So one match can be lead code FC versus Real Madrid, where lead code FC is the home team and Real Madrid is the away team. And then there can be another match where lead code FC is going to be the away team and Real Madrid is going to be the home team. So if you think about it, this question can be easily solved by using cross join. Why? Because what does a cross join do? Cross join basically takes one thing and returns all the possible combinations, right? So if I, you know, take this team stable alias this as T1 and then cross join with again the team stable alias as T2 because you need to remember that if you are joining a table on itself right so you need to alias them in two different names right so if you do that so it is going to return lead code fc lead code fc lead code fc lesc lead code fc real madrid then lesc lead code fc lesc 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 real madrid similarly for real madrid right so that is going to be the output but if you think about it right lead code fc and lead code fc it does not make sense, right? Lead code FC is the home team and lead code FC is the away team. You are not playing against yourself, right? So those cases needs to be neglected, right? So here in this, after you do a cross join, since there are three uh, entries in this column, right? So the total after cross join is going to be three cross three, that is nine. But you need to remove lead code FC, lead code FC, LESC, LESC and Real Madrid, Real Madrid. So you remove three out of them, right? So nine minus three, that is six. So if you see, there are going to be six in the output, right? Real Madrid, Lead Code FC, Real Madrid, LESC, right? Then Lead Code FC, Real Madrid. So basically, if you see this and this, they are same matches, but in one, uh, Real Madrid is home and in one Real Madrid is away team, right? So that is what we need to do as well, right? So let's start building this query. So from this table called teams alias as T1, let's cross join on the same table teams alias as this time T2. And since cross join is basically going to return all the possible combinations, so you don't need an on clause for a cross join, right? Now, once you do a cross join, so as, as I already said, it, you are going to have what? Lead code FC, lead code FC, lead code FC, LESC, lead code FC, Real Madrid. Similarly for these, right? But as I said, you cannot play against yourself, right? So what you need to do is where T1 dot team name is not equal to T2 dot team name, right? Why? Because these are, uh, you know, making sure that all those rows where the home team as well as the away team is going to be same, you are excluding those because that does not make any sense, right? So once you have that, then what you need to do in the output home team and away team, right? So what you can do is just simply return T1 dot team name alias as home team, right? And T2 dot team name alias as away team since we don't need to order this by anything right so this looks good let me go ahead and run this to see what happens so yeah so this is accepted our output is same as expected output right let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yep, this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again very simple question all you had to do was identify how you can get all the possible combinations and don't be confused by you know when they say note that every two teams play two matches with each other 
with one team being home team once and the other team being away team once because the cross join is taking care of that right so, so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this problem or you can think of doing this without using the cross join how will you you are going to do that let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video